From fishing in the nether to becoming immortal, here are 89 Minecraft things you didn't know existed. Raw iron and gold both have to be smelted in a furnace to make them usable. But did you know diamonds can be smelted too? You won't be getting diamond ingots, but you're actually able to smelt the ore variations to get the mineral. This works with emerald, redstone, and lapis ore as well. There's a way to teleport thousands of blocks in survival. If you block a ravager's attack with a shield, the ravager will power up and knock all enemies back. Using this mechanic, players can travel thousands of blocks almost instantly. Fish out of water flop a lot. If you put them on top of slime blocks, they'll start bouncing super high because of it. This also happens to guardians where they bounce exponentially higher each time. Ravagers can break leaves and crops in Java edition, but in Bedrock edition, they're way more powerful. Ravagers can break blocks like pumpkins, saplings, sugarcane, and roses. Stop grieving me. When you finish a raid, you'll get the hero of the village effect for killing all the pillagers. But Minecraft lets you do something cursed. You can slash effect the pillagers around you to have the hero of the village effect. There's adoption in Minecraft? Well, sort of. Baby animals always follow a parent animal. But if you kill the parent, the baby animal will just start following a different parent. How tragic. There's a way to have looting bows in survival. It's impossible to put looting on your bow normally. But if you hold a looting sword in your main hand and bow in off hand, the looting effect will apply. What's crazier is that the looting glitch also works with snowballs. So you can get extra blaze rods in the nether. On version 1.18.1, putting horses on top of turtle eggs will make them spin in circles. I have no idea why this happens, but I guess horses just love to dance. With the scale attribute in 1.20.5, you can shrink yourself to become smaller than a button. Now you can live in tiny homes, under cauldrons, under beds, or in between stairs. This just made hide and seek way more fun. When animals die by fire, they're supposed to drop cooked food. But for some reason, if animals die by campfire, the food won't be cooked. This doesn't make any sense. Placing a block next to a cactus will destroy it, allowing Allowing for some crazy automatic cactus farms. But something pretty cool is that there is actually a way to place a full block next to a cactus. Just stack up a bunch of snow layers and the cactus will be perfectly fine. Or you can even place powdered snow next to it. You probably know jumping and attacking will deal a critical hit. But did you know bows can deal critical hits too? To do a critical shot, you don't jump and shoot a bow. But instead, if you fully charge your bow, it makes the arrow have a 25% chance of doing a critical shot and doing extra damage. So that's just another reason to fully charge your bow back instead of bow spamming. Leaving your Minecraft world causes your cat to sit down. And if a cat sits down on a chest, it can't be opened. So with a redstone contraption, you can set it up so a cat will sit down on a chest and send a redstone pulse whenever you log off. You can set up perfect traps to activate only when you leave. How do you make floating minecart rails? Just place trap doors and then rails on top. The rails can then be opened and it'll look like the rails are floating. Make sure not to break one of the rails though or they'll all break. Before furnaces were added to the game, how did players smelt ores? To smelt, it was actually pretty cool. Players just threw the ores at the ground and lit them on fire. That's way quicker than furnaces. I wish that still existed. Almost all of the Minecraft paintings are based on real art from Christopher Zetterstrand. His artwork is now one of the most exposed pieces since Minecraft has sold over 300 million copies. You can fall from a million blocks in the sky, and if you land in a single pixel of water, you'll be fine. But it wasn't always like this. Before update 1.0, for jumping into shallow water would cause death. And if you wanted to survive or fall, you'd have to land into deeper water. That could catch your fall. I'm glad this was changed because water bucket clutching wouldn't exist. Steve's hands used to be extremely useful. Before shears were introduced, you could obtain wool by just punching sheep. It's like his hands had scissors on them. TNT could also be lit by punching it, and the explosion can be cancelled by punching it again. Check out this painting. The skull isn't the interesting part, but the world behind it. Seed hunters were able to find the exact world using the clouds and flower scene in a clearer screenshot of the painting. Minecraft had a secret version called Survival Test. This was the first version of Survival Mode and it had a lot of strange features. In this version, items stacked up to 99, mobs bond with plate armor, and pigs dropped mushrooms. When ghasts were initially added, they shot burning snowballs that were extremely deadly. After that, there was also a bug where the ghasts could shoot flaming diamond helmets. The Fire Aspect book has a superpower. In the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, you can light a TNT by right-clicking it with the fire aspect book. You can also light the TNT with the fire aspect sword. I wish Java Edition had this. Endermen don't take projectile damage. They'll teleport out of the way if you try to snowball or bow them. Even if they have nowhere to teleport, the projectile will just hover on top of them. However, a projectile that can hit them is the dripstone. I finally got you! Something really cursed is that if you get water in the nether, you can actually fish there and get items. I wonder how fish got there. Some skeletons can naturally pick up swords in the bedrock edition and they swing it super 
fast. You stole my sword. Okay, you can just keep it. Saddle pigs are pretty slow, but right-clicking the carrot on stick actually makes the pigs speed up. What's even more surprising is that the heavy pigs can actually climb up ladders. They've got some pretty strong legs. If you put the dinner bone name tag on a horse, you can still ride it. The horse will be freestyling on its back somehow. This also works with saddle pigs. Did you know armor stands can drown? If you put an armor stand under water, eventually bubble particles will start coming out, showing it's drowning. I guess that means armor stands are living. You can climb up to four block tall pointed dripstone blocks. This is an ultra efficient staircase. When you kill most mobs, they'll go on their sides, but spiders are the only mob that does a 180 degree flip when it dies. Zombies can jump over azalea bushes, so make sure to surround your house with them to create a natural looking barricade. Most people just use a flint and steel to light nether portals, but there are way more creative ways to light them. You can use anything from lightning, exploding beds, or even gassed fireballs. Stop jumping on my crops! You probably know that jumping on crops destroys them, but it used to be so much worse. In beta versions of Minecraft, just walking on crops would break them. However, if you placed fences beneath the soil, the crops would be immune from trampling. Have you heard of the chopping enchantment? It was once considered the worst enchantment. You could put it on an axe and it didn't do anything different. Later though, the chopping enchantment was renamed to cleaving and makes the axe do more damage and disables shields for longer. This enchantment is found in the combat test snapshots. Minecraft's menu screen can have all sorts of cool splash tags. However, all references mentioning Notch, the creator of the game, were removed. Like, made by Notch. By throwing an ender pearl and then lowering your render distance, you'll freeze the pearl in an unloaded chunk. You can then do whatever you have to do. And once you're ready to teleport, raise your render distance, which will load the pearl in and you'll teleport. This is called pearl hanging and pro speedrunners use it to travel across the world super quickly. The endermite looks awfully suspicious to another mob. Well, turns out the endermite is just a retextured silverfish. That's a lot more purple. This is a quintuple pig spawner. It's one of the rarest glitches to occur. The glitch happens on this seed on version 1.16. If you wanted a cat in older versions of Minecraft, you had to explore the jungles and find an ocelot. These quick animals would have to be fed fish and then they'll magically turn into a cat. This feature was eventually changed and now you can just find abandoned cats in villages to tame. Squids are cheaters. Outside of water, they'll take almost no knockback. Too bad their weakness is air. Everyone knows you can milk cows, but there's another secret mob you can milk. You might be thinking the other mob is a pig or even a horse, but the other mob is actually a goat. I guess getting goat milk makes sense. There's a way to become invincible in survival. Blocking with a shield while entering a nether portal makes the shield continue to be held out even once you exit the portal. This allows you to both swing your sword at the same time as having your shield held up. Did you know it's possible to make an ender dragon farm? It works by shooting an arrow at light speeds using TNT and killing the ender dragon in a single shot. It's pretty overpowered and can be used to farm dragon eggs and experience points. The amplified world type in Minecraft creates massive terrain, but most people don't know it was created by accident when Jeb entered incorrect numbers into the world generation code. Most people think there's only one stronghold in the entire Minecraft world, but there are actually way more. And it's not just two to three extra strongholds. In total, there are 128 strongholds that generate in each world. Minecraft blocks actually tell a story. Some chiseled stone bricks have mobs engraved into them, like the Warden, Reaper, Wither, Skeleton, and Hogley. In beta Minecraft, Endermen used to drop diamonds instead of pearls. I wonder how they got those. What's the best way to fish? It actually depends. If you're looking to get primarily fish, you should fish in shallow areas because you get less treasure and more fish. However, if you want more treasure, you should fish in deeper water so your bobber is surrounded by at least a 5x5x4 five by five by area of water. You may know that potions can be stored in cauldrons on the bedrock edition, but something few people know is that the cauldrons will save the potion state. You can put throwable lingering potions inside it, and if you pick it back up from the cauldron, it'll still be lingering. Will a totem of undying work on your head? If you use commands to put a totem on your head and die, it unfortunately won't work. The totem only activates if it's in one of your hand slots. Beacon pyramids can be made out of any mineral blocks, whether it be gold, iron, diamonds, but the combinations can also be mixed. So the pyramid is made up of different ores. This way, you can fake a netherite beacon by just coating the outer layer. The chiseled stone brick is actually not center. You can see the visual difference by placing a torch on top. I can't unsee this. When you write on signs, the letters are actually floating in the air. You can see it best by using a spyglass to zoom into the sides. When you enter water, your FOB is actually lowered by 10. This is done to simulate light refraction from real life. If an enderman is given invisibility, their eyes are still visible. The same goes for the spider's eyes and the blaze of smoke. The nether portal can't be lit in the end, which makes sense. But if you cheat in a nether portal block, then you can go through. However, 
However, when you enter back through the portal, you'll be sent back to the overworld. Steve's skin has changed a few times. Steve's skin used to have a beard, but it was eventually shaped right off. However, in 2022, Mojang changed this and added the beard back. But I always thought the beard was a smile. You may know that sponges dry out in the nether, but it actually happens in another biome. In Bedrock Edition, wet sponges placed in a dry biome like a desert will dry out after a few minutes. Just another reason you should never use furnaces to dry them. You probably know that rain makes fishing more efficient, but how much more? If a bobber is directly exposed to the sky, rain will reduce fishing time by 25%. Dispensers can be used to dispense armor directly onto yourself. But something lesser known is that this works with horses as well. Just point dispensers at a horse and you can equip saddles and horse armor. Talk about a quick wardrobe change. If you can't tell if a chest is trapped or not, here's an easy test. Just place a redstone next to it. And if the redstone points towards it, it's a trap chest. But this doesn't happen to normal chests. Cauldrons left in the rain will fill up with water. But if it is filled up with potions, the water level won't go up. Minecarts float on bubble beams and you can create some pretty cool contraptions with this feature. If you send a minecart going at fast enough speeds, it'll bounce across the water and then back onto rails. Putting a thick item like an iron block on an item frame will make it stick out from both sides. You can see this best when you put the item frame on a slab or fence. Did you know the Wither and Ender Dragon have names? The Wither boss in Minecraft is officially named Simmet, and the Ender Dragon is named Gene by the developers. Hoglings can be very annoying to kill, but good thing they're terrified of war fungi. You can separate a baby hogling from its parents, and they'll both be too afraid to cross. Or you can make them go crazy by trapping them inside a box surrounded by warped fungi. This is what you get for hitting me. The void is the deadliest thing in Minecraft. It will kill you no matter how much armor you have. But there is one way to survive it. Enchanted golden apples. This player successfully survived 100 days in the void by filling up shulkers and his inventory with enchanted golden apples. Water is impossible to place in the nether in newer versions of Minecraft. Psych! Just bring a cauldron to the nether and place some water. Or if you catch on fire, just splash yourself with a water bottle. If you ever wanted to build a bubble elevator, don't use water. Instead, stack up with ice blocks above a soul sand block and then mine it all down with a pickaxe. All the ice blocks will turn into water source blocks and the bubble stream will send you lying right back to the top. Whee! Piglins are super scared of this. When you place down a blue lantern, the piglin will scurry away. You can use a piston to open and close the light from either side of a wall, making the piglin run in fear sight to side. Better give me ender pearls next time. The only way to get name tags is from loot chests, but there's a way to duplicate them. If you name a big slime with a name tag and then kill it, each one of the baby slimes will have the same name as the parent slime. If you name a vindicator Johnny, it goes crazy and attacks any nearby mob, but it's actually pretty useful. You can use this crazy vindicator indicator to attack animals and create a passive mob farm. Endermen can't be shot with snowballs, eggs, or arrows. But if you use a tipped arrow on the Enderman, although the arrow would miss, the Enderman still get the effect. Minecarts are infamously slow, but there's a way to make them go at supersonic speeds. Just put a boat in a minecart and it'll race forward. This is way more efficient than powered rails. There's an infinite bone meal hack. To do so, you just use bone meal on a moss block and it'll sprout a bunch of mosses. You can mine it all and put it back into a composter, which will give slightly higher returns. Or you can just use a skeleton farm. Pandas will eat anything you give it. Normally, pandas will only eat bamboo, but if you summon one holding an item, it'll munch it down. This works with any item from TNT to command blocks. That must hurt its teeth a lot. Foxes will try to hunt and kill chickens, but if you place lava above the chicken, when the fox jumps to kill it, the fox will burn completely. It's a great way to give them instant karma. And if you want to go even further, you can make a machine like this one that will push the fox back each time it tries to jump after the chicken. Not today. Foxes can actually get stuck in the snow. When foxes leap into the air to attack chickens, they won't always hit their target. Sometimes when they miss, their heads will be buried in snow, and they'll have to wiggle their feet to get out. Normally, flooding your house would be something you want to avoid, but doing so will actually make it so mobs don't spawn inside. However, if you're not looking to devalue your base, you can also just use slabs as the floor, and they'll work too. Lava and dripstone is a deadly combo in Minecraft. If you place lava on top of a dripstone block, it'll make lava slowly drip down. You can set up a glass chamber with a few lava dripstone blocks, to literally rain fire on those annoying hostile mobs. And crystals make amazing defense because they explode instantly. You can set up the ultimate defense by aiming dispensers with snowballs at the end crystals. And whenever trespassers come by, flip the switch. Minecraft crops grow super slowly, but with this trick, you can speed it up. If you plant different crops in alternating rows, it'll quicken the growing process. You can see the difference best when the different crop farming types are side by side. There's no way you knew this. If you drop an item into the ocean, dolphins will start playing with it. They'll bop the item with their
their noses, sending it flying. Too bad, this only works in Java Edition. In 2018, Minecraft held a cat boat to add a ninth cat skin to the game. The three cats that made it to the final boat were Jelly, Zack, and Coco. In the end, Jelly would end up winning, which is actually the YouTuber Good Times with Scar's cat. I'm just glad the middle cat didn't win. You can make a Five Nights at Freddy's head in survival. A leather helmet on an armor stand is used as the mouth, chest plates for years, a wither skull is set on the top of the head, and lastly, a brown wool block is squished in. Scary! There's a way to harvest thousands of crops at once. Crops need light to survive, so if you turn off all lights once the crops are finished growing, all the crops will instantly break, saving you tons of time. Wolves can't teleport to you if there is no safe space to teleport to, but if you are completely surrounded in glass blocks, the wolf has a superpower and can teleport straight into it because it's a transparent block. And that looks painful. Piglins go crazy for gold and will even attack you if you're not wearing any. To torture them, set up a machine that drops gold, and as soon as the piglin runs toward it, the gold gets shoved into lava. Once the piglin sadly walks away, gold is dispensed again. The ultimate betrayal after getting their hopes up. These lava pools are amazing for hiding secret bases. The lava is held up by signs, allowing you to jump right through and into a pool of water. To make sure you don't take damage, jump from a higher point to gain momentum. Just make sure you jump into the right spot. Hot, hot, help! You may know that water can hydrate crops up to four blocks away, but did you know it can work through air? That's right, it doesn't matter what blocks are between the farmland and water, it'll still hydrate. Water normally extinguishes fire, right? Well, most of the time, because you can shoot fire charges straight into bubble columns, and the fire charges will just float in the water. How is this even allowed? If you break a mob skull, for some, the same texture as breaking soul sand particles come out. It's almost like the mob's soul is trying to come out. Eek. Bolts are supposed to negate all fall damage, but sometimes it for some reason doesn't work. This is because Minecraft's code is weird, and if you fall exactly 49 blocks off a boat, the boat just breaks and you'll end up dying. What's weirder is if you place one block higher to 50 blocks, you'll be perfectly fine. This game is so weird. Well, those are some Minecraft things you didn't know existed. Subscribe!